Gilbert and George. We are here in China for our exhibition, and we are absolutely delighted to be here to bring these pictures, our visual love letters to the people of China. It has been one of our biggest dreams to be able to take this exhibition and put it in the middle of Peking because we love China. <laughs>那么前几天非常偶然的我在街上走 摇滚一样，像英国的摇滚。因为英国是一个呃，平常很很斯文、很斯文的国家，但是突然会产生那种很强烈的摇滚。这个我觉得这个一首很像那个东西，很像那个。After the Moscow exhibition in 1990, I said to them, "Where would they like to go next?" And they both replied in unison, "China." Within a month, the Chinese embassy had accepted the Gilman George exhibition. And then within three months, the Ministry of Culture had accepted the exhibition. We wanted to come to China because China for us is the last big mystery country. And we wanted to ex experiment with the idea of art for all, to put our art in the middle of Peking and see, what, and see the reaction. The biggest debate in the world at the moment is what is an individual? Are we Europeans? Are we communists? Are we Chinese? Are we part of the world? Are we coming out from the last war? Are we coming after something else? What are we? Everyone will get out of their bed beds in the future being as different as we do today compared with, say, the 18th century. We believe that the debate about the individual is as ripe here in China as it is anywhere. And we would like, with our pictures, in a delicate way, to enter that debate. Please. Thank you. Thank you, my love. Oh, God. Friendly. It's extraordinary that for living. Much better. Chinese silk. 现在由我宣布啊We are Gilbert and George. We, as unhappy artists, are very happy to be able to hold this exhibition of our pictures in China. Our art fights for love and tolerance and a universal elaboration of the individual. Each of our pictures is a visual love letter from ourselves to the viewer. 
This visit has been a human revelation to us. We have never before seen so many good-looking people. And, and Beijing is now our favorite city. Thank you. This exhibition in China is very important because it's the first time the Chinese people can see work of a Western living artist. There was a show before here of Rodin, but Rodin is dead, we know. China has been a long, long time since we haven't seen the Western 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 Western因为去年年底的时候有一个南朝鲜的展览现代艺术但是在做到半截的时候这个他所有的装置作品都不允许他在管理展出而且展览作品都给扔出去了可是没有想到他突然能够接受他们两个人而他们两个人比南朝鲜
have to live with, and we are trying to break them down more and more, like the attitude of black people, the attitude to religion, the attitude towards sex, the attitude towards even just coloration, the attitude towards modernity, and what are we? And even the attitude towards art, what should art mean? Why is it that all women's magazines have a girl on the cover, and when there isn't a girl, there's a cheese flan? Why is it in order to sell a yacht at the yacht exhibition, they have to have a girl with a bikini in front? Why is it at an auction house, pictures with ladies with vases fetch a higher price than gentlemen in army dress? These are all habits of mind that in some way our pictures, by the way or inadvertently, try to question. Art is stopping still for a moment to think and feel, freezing life for a moment to consider something. The artist is nothing if not unconventional. We have to reinvent new ideas, new freedoms for tomorrow, new, because we have to become more tolerant towards each other. That is a picture always represents for us that we are being attacked from every angle, but we are still sticking our tongues out to everybody. There is a human feeling connected with death in the sky and the relationship of the person to the city and the arm with the time watch that I think identifies quite closely with Chinese thought at the moment. And we felt it looked even like we are being dropped into the middle of China in some way and they are sticking up the, still the red flag. And we are being dropped in in the middle of this amazing new country. Wang, Wang, Wang. Only thinks himself. No, can the small boy, can the small boy come and stand with her? Yeah. yeah. The small boy, he's not too shy. If they... The television? Hello. Hello. <laughs> we create a public persona from the first day when we decided to do living sculpture. That's what it is. We are confronting the view and so we are personas, like Mao Zedong, or the Pope, or, or the Queen. Coming from both from lower class backgrounds, the suit was regarded as the, what you wear on important occasions, weddings, funerals, and so on. And that was the normal 20th century good clothes. We didn't come from a, a genie background or a, a, a swinging 60s background. We didn't have to reject other clothes in order to adopt these. That, that was the norm at that time. And we believe it's been very important to us because it is the normal, average, typical 20th century appearance. It's very, very normal. Andy Warhol, who is of course the key figure in suppressing the, the individual emotional ideas of the artist, may have had some sort of influence on Gilbert and George. But I think Gilbert and George and Andy Warhol, in their image making, in their relation to their art, are some of the key essential artists at the end of the 20th century. And I think they, more than everyone, anyone else, will take this issue of presenting themselves in relation to their art into the next century. We did it. We just completed two sculpture walks on the Great Wall. We always found out <clears throat> when we were first artists that sculpture is not modeling, but it's cutting into pieces, it's dividing. And so sculpture of any kind is a way of ordering life. So any unbearable life, if you, if you give it a, a, a sense of a culture or a cultivated sense, it becomes more bearable in a way. On the Great Wall of China, we are Gilbert and George. We, as unhappy artists, are very happy to be able to hold an exhibition of our pictures in China. Happy during our lifetime has been, for us, very confusing. We are both war babies, and everything during our childhood was wrecked. The whole of life was destroyed, there were soldiers around in every town, but we knew that everything was going to get better. That's the one thing we knew. And, and then, Somehow or other, there became an aspect of the pursuit of happiness which we find rather worrying. This idea of having nice friends, happy holidays, good life, good this, good that. And sometimes that seems incredibly frighteningly 
silly and slight, and, and that one, one could just die in some silly, happy land, and having done nothing. We, we prefer to do something to being happy. No comment. We wouldn't even say that we're dissatisfied as people. I think the unhappiness and misery that we feel is something that we actually need in order to continue. H happiness is not such a productive force in general and certainly wouldn't be for us. We, we, we need to feel at least as miserable as the most other miserable person on earth. If not, we would be in some way separated out. We wouldn't be able to understand enough then. It's only, it's only if we understand that all these people are in this horrible state that we can be true to them, fair to them as viewers. We're disturbed people and therefore not conscious of looking at ourselves. The, the disturbance is so great that that carries us. We're, we are driven every day to do what we do. Is, is there anything that makes you happy? Yeah, not being asked that question. We probably are very lucky and we had a fantastic life, but at the same time, we are. We feel, we, we no, we, we don't we feel we have to, but we just are. Became more, more unhappy. I, and I, in some way, I always was a little unhappy, so it, not, it is not something completely new. <laughs> 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 so what is the what is the naughtiest Chinese word that comes to mind immediately? <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> what is the word? <laughs> Which word? Which word comes to mind? It's a very, it's a very, it's a very deep, it's a very deep question. We would trust every Chinese person to understand our art more than the Western, because we know that they will be able just to uh, feel our art immediate without the prejudice of books and all that stuff. In many ways, we feel that China, from what we've seen of it, has a fresher outlook than the parts of Europe that we know. In some way, Europe is quite tired, it's quite decadent in many ways. It's overcomplicated in the wrong ways. Here we feel there's a fresher, more open, more able way of seeing a future, of wanting a future. They are modernists. They are just totally modernist. In the West, we are not modernist. But here, they're the acceptance of modernity, like in Hong Kong or, or Japan or, or Singapore, they have no problem in accepting modernity. Television, fast cars, skyscrapers, the best ones, the dressing up completely new. They have no problem whatsoever, and that's amazing. Actually, extent are your processes photographic? It's all based on a neg negative image. Black and white yes. negative. Black and, white negative. Yes. and then we start from there. Yes. A dye. Yes. A dye. A colour. Yes. Liquid colour. Yes. Liquid colour. Like a bowl, bowl of liquid we have. Yes. Yes. And then a cloth to apply it with. They are superimposed one after another. Each, each negative. Yes. The rest of this is Chinese, these are technical. I, I do, yes. We are one artist. We don't think. One artist. One artist. Two persons. But Absolutely. We, we never think too much. Like the world is divided into twos. You are two, right. we are two, everybody is two. It's normal. I was a Kyoto news service of Japan. 
but is this your first, this your obviously your first exhibition in China? Is it your first visit to China? Also, yes, both. Oh yeah, yeah. First visit and first exhibition. Do you think? Uh, how do you think the Chinese will react to your painting? You you must you must ask them. They're, oh, yeah, they're, yeah. they're all here. 对，很明显有一种精神危机的，有一种这种明显的状态。这一幅就是怎么着？可能是从他的那种构图，还有他整个就把握这两个人的力度。还有把他所置身的这种环境里边，然后形成一种就是啊，沉默的一种关系。因为现在社会普遍就他很多的就是人情比较冷漠，尤其在西方，可能这种人人情的冷漠吧，要比东方还要厉害。因为这幅画吧，是一幅黑黑人青年的一幅头像。他这个从他的眼神来看，比较象征着勇敢、坚毅，还比较忠诚，让人看着心里比较有一股可靠的感觉。现实生活中好像缺少这种精神，好像嗯，那人际关系比较紧张，看看着这种感觉有有股比较满足的感觉，而且能感觉出来一点，好像有点宗教的色彩，宗教的色彩，好像有点。一种冲突的感觉，就感到这个西方的这个社会啊，很紧张。城市里的人呢、啊，非常紧迫，很紧张，好像对未来没有希望了。但是这个思想啊，也好像要要引起一种奋斗，是要引起一种斗争似的。这是一种力量，好像是一种力量，不完全是悲观的，好像。我想随着我们现在文明社会的进步，呃和发展吧，呃人与人之间的进。呃，人与人之间的竞争变得非常的残酷，而且非常的现实。嗯、呃，从这幅画可以看到，四个人的表情都是呃被这种竞争所压迫的一种呃比较嗯内心，从内心来看就是一种非常的呃痛苦，非常一种呆滞，甚至是呃受到一种很压抑的一种表情。可是，在他们的每个人的心里，在他们每个人的脚底下，却是。就是想着要踩倒对方，这非常符合就是人与人之间那种竞争的心理。我想这种现象在文明的都市里面会越来越普遍。嗯，随着今后历史的发展，或者说是社会的发展。有 ，We have a fan here. Can make a change? Yeah, it's very kind, certainly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's half. You may need the other half from Gil. We were very surprised that Chinese authority. Accepted our exhibition here, but once we have been here, we realize that they all want it much more than we thought. It. I don't know the answer to why the Chinese were keen uh, for the exhibition to come, but I think it does mark perhaps a greater degree of confidence as regards the visual arts. I don't think that a few years ago it would have been possible to stage an exhibition of this kind. I think the pictures would have been regarded as too disturbing, uh, too alien. That degree of liberalisation, I think, is not matched when it comes to the spoken and written words. But in, when it comes to the visual arts, I think we are now seeing a change, and that's important. They are not too clear about what they are doing. They are too clear about what they are doing. They are too clear about what they are doing. They are too clear about what they are doing. They are too clear about what they are doing. 和没有形象，看不懂的，因为共产党的一个基本的意思就认为，艺术要让大众看得懂。嗯，他认为有形象就可以看得懂，这个是一个误会。我觉得这个展览能在这展出，是一个误会。We as unhappy artists are very happy to be able to hold this exhibition of our pictures in China. Our art. Fight for love and tolerance and universal elaboration of the individual. Each of our pictures is a visual love letter from ourselves to the viewer. This visit has been a human revelation to us. We have never before seen so many good-looking people and Beijing is now our favorite city. <laughs> Dissident, rebels, forever. Normal conservative rebels, absolutely. What an experience the Beijing was for us. It's going to be, I think it's going to be, it's going to change our attitude towards art. It's added to our idea of, of a 
love of people around the world, this idea that you can have culture coming from one land to the other, this co cosmological idea, it increases our sense of cosmology. This cosmic thought is becoming more reality than ever before. Thank you very much for making this fantastic time here so pleasant. We never had a 12-year-old film director before. 